Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Monkey Wrench. I'm Kelly, the Monkey with the Wrench. I say that because my normal channel is called Monkey Wrench, where I fix boats, lawnmowers, outboards, jet skis, that kind of thing. So if you're interested in seeing those kinds of machines get fixed, I'll leave a link down in the description. Check out my main channel. We almost have 10,000 subscribers. Thanks so much. You're currently on Monkey Wrench Mowing, where I help out elderly folks with free yard makeovers when their yards and their bushes and their grass is all out of control and they can't afford to pay someone to take care of that for them, I do that for free. So if you're interested in seeing lawn cutting videos and jungle clearings and things like that, that's what this channel is, so check it out. But you're here today because you're interested in products like Fritzyme 7. This is a beneficial bacteria culture and I will do my best to explain this as quickly as I can. I'm get, just quickly show you what I said. I have my 10 gallon tank that I got for my birthday. I have a five gallon over there that I got for free. And I have a couple of totes here that I needed to set up. I am a guppy breeder. So I breed guppies in 10 gallon totes. That's what those are. They have my air bubbler sponge filters in there and some horn wart for some floating plants, real, real plants. Over there I have some java moss, real plants. In here I have some java fern and some val. Anyway, you're here, let me put this back into its tripod, you're here because you have questions about Fritzyme 7 or Seachem or any of the other ones. Now I prefer Fritzyme because I've had the most luck with this. This is live benefit, beneficial bacteria. Most of the stuff that you get if you read the bottle, Seachem uh, other brands will say that it's dead bacteria and when it, when something is dead it doesn't work uh, so I prefer this this is live when you buy this it is completely sealed there's a silver seal on the top just like medication and if you shake the bottle you'll find that there's no air in the bottle it doesn't move at all so you don't have to shake it up I usually just turn mine upside down and kind of wiggle it a little bit if you look on the bottle there is an expiration date it's usually good for a year after bottling however once you open this bottle and you break that seal this stuff is no good after seven to ten days once the air hits it it kills the bacteria and it is no longer viable so only buy what you need and use what you buy in my case i needed to start three ten gallon tubs and a five gallon sort of a, a show type of tank so i needed to do 35 gallons and this bottle this 16 ounce bottle will do up to 40 gallons so start off by putting your water in and dechlorinating it i am not sponsored because i don't make aquarium videos but i do use Seachem prime this takes out chlorine and chloramine which most of the cheaper dechlorinators do not do and it also binds ammonia and nitrite it doesn't remove them from the water basically it covers them in a jacket it binds them so that they can't poison your fish when you put fish in there if you have an ammonia spike you can add this to it it's one capful for every five gallons you can do up to four times uh, the recommended dose so you don't have to worry about overdosing so if you have an ammonia spike you don't have to do a water change just put a capful of this in your tank it will bind that ammonia for up to 48 hours and make it safe for your fish so that your bacteria can catch up it doesn't remove it it just binds it and your bacteria can still eat it so your tank becomes safe but you have to dose that every two days now this stuff's pretty cheap too this bottle was only 10 bucks and it does a shit ton uh, of gallons I can't really see it right now but this is what we're dealing with this is live bacteria and I've seen so many videos and so many comments where people have said I bought that crap and it didn't work I poured it in my tank and I waited a month and nothing happened my tank is not cycled blah 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 here's the problem that you're running into you would not have a dog and not feed it you would not have a child and not feed it what happens if you don't feed something it dies this is bacteria but it is not it does not come with its own food this is an animal think of it as an animal a bacteria as an animal so think of it like your dog or your cat you would not go without feeding your dog or your cat so what happens is in my case I started off first by putting ammonia in here now my local fish store buys this stuff this is enough to treat 4,000 gallons he buys this and then he loans it to you if you have a new tank you want to start and you buy some 
beneficial bacteria. This is four drops per gallon. You just turn it up. And if I have a 10 gallon tank, I would put 40 drops of this in there. So he loans this to you and then you just bring it back to the store after you used whatever you needed. And that way you don't have to buy it. This is ammonia, pure ammonia. And this is what your beneficial bacteria eat. So I started off by putting ammonia in my tanks, then I can immediately put my beneficial bacteria in there and it has something to eat. Now if you don't know about the, nit the nitrogen cycle, beneficial bacteria eat ammonia. That's poop and pee and actually carbon monoxide breathing that comes out of your fish is all ammonia. So ammonia goes into your tank from your fish, your beneficial bacteria eat that ammonia and turn it into nitrites. Then there's another form of bacteria in this bottle that eats the nitrites and turns it into nitrates. And the nitrates are, the, are okay for your fish. You can, you can balance that out by doing water changes. If you do 25% water change once a week, you can dilute those nitrates by taking out some and putting in fresh water. That's how you control your nitrites, your nitrates. But if you start off with this and you don't have any food for the bacteria to eat, this is just going to die in your tank and you've wasted money. This was about 12 bucks, I think. You've wasted $12 and you've wasted a month of your time because you're not going to get anywhere. This didn't have anything to eat. If you do not have access to ammonia like I do, or you don't want to spend the money, you don't have to. All you have to do is take your fish flakes and drop a little pinch into your tank once a day for about five to seven days. Take your tank, fill it up with water, use a dechlorinator, put your air bubbler in, put your hang on back filter on, put your light on for six to eight hours a day. Pretend there's fish in there. Ghost feed for five to seven days. That food will turn into ammonia. After five or seven days, there will be sufficient ammonia in your tank. Then you pour in your Fritz 7. Now you're pouring in the animal that eats the ammonia so it has food to begin the nitrogen cycle. This is not Hermione's spell book. This is not Harry Potter's magic wand. You don't pour this stuff in and put your fish in the same day. If you do, the chances are they're not going to make it. So it still takes time. But instead of waiting four to six weeks to get your tank started by ghost feeding, because these bacteria, they, they are in every water, they're, they're in the air, they're everywhere. So if you just ghost feed your tank once a day for a month, you're going to get the same results, but it could take four to six weeks. I've heard it take as much as two months. So I buy this so it only takes two weeks instead of six weeks. So you ghost feed for five to seven days, then you pour in your culture, then you wait five to seven days, and then you can add a fish or two. The beneficial bacteria, think of it like, um, I, I don't know, it only can get there you can only have as many bacteria as there is food for it you wouldn't have 10 cats and only feed one of them the rest of them would die off so bacteria needs food so if you have enough bacteria in there to start the cycle that's great then you can put one fish in there and it will continuously put ammonia in and if it puts in more than the bacteria that's in there can handle then more bacteria will grow so every week you can add another fish another fish up until the tanks limit and that's the bio load but this is not an end-all be-all this is a one-time dose it's two ounce I'm sorry four ounces per 10 gallons I use a little measuring cup that came off of a cough medicine bottle you can do the conversions yourself I want to say that 30 milliliters is one ounce so I use that to dose it into my tank so I was putting exactly what it called for so you ghost feed or put in your ammonia if you use ammonia, it happens instantly. You can instantly add this and save yourself a week. If you're ghost feeding, wait five to seven days, then add this. Then wait five to seven days more for this to start turning that ammonia into nitrites. And then for the bacteria that's also in here to turn the nitrites into nitrates, which makes it safe for your fish. You still have to get a test kit. You still have to know if your nitrates are high, but you'll know your cycle is good when you have zero ammonia and zero nitrites and then your nitrate should be somewhere around 40 parts per million or parts per thousand your test will show you that and you control how much of the end result the nitri the nitrates 
by doing water changes pulling out some bad water and diluting it with some fresh water make sure that when you do your water changes you use a dechlorinator you don't want to put chlorine water in your fish tank that'll kill any bacteria beneficial bacteria you have and also can harm your fish or kill your fish I've seen a lot of people they pump the water in with a garden hose first and then they dechlorinate well that's still bleach coming out of your tap chlorine coming out of your tap killing off your microscopic bacteria instantly so put your fresh water into a bucket then dechlorinate swirl it around give it a second then put it in and you won't be killing your bacteria and remember if you have a fish tank that had a cycle but all your fish died one by one because they got old and now your fish tank is empty after a week the bacteria that's in there has nothing to eat and it will die so you can't leave an empty fish tank for two or three weeks and then go to the store and go oh I've been meaning to buy a new pet buy a new fish bring it home it's gonna die and you're not gonna understand why beneficial bacteria has to have a constant food source that's the food that you feed your fish breaking down that they don't eat that's the waste that's the poop and the pee and the air breathing coming out of your fish gives this something to eat so you must feed this at all times so if you do have access to ammonia of some sort and there's plenty of things you can buy you can look up videos on that it doesn't have to be this brand put in ammonia put in this stuff wait five to seven days then put in some fish check your water parameters on the regular use a binding agent if you have to if you have an ammonia spike or a nitrite spike and keep checking your water until you have zero ammonia zero nitrites and around 40 nitrates and that's all you have to do so instead of waiting six or eight weeks and finding out this did nothing because you didn't feed it any ammonia you're wasting your time and your money so I hope that helps this is a one-time dosage you only have to put it in one time and uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below if you want me to make more aquarium videos and how-to videos when it comes to fish and all the things you need to know leave a comment down below I'll start a third channel if I have to or I'll make more videos whatever the case may be let me know subscribe while you're here give this video a thumbs up get this information to more people let's help everything grow happy fish keeping thanks for stopping by we'll see you soon